I'm here at the CBU Airport campus where I had the chance to sit down and talk to Dr. John Marcellus and speak about the department's successes and how they're working through the COVID-19 regulations. Professor John Marcellus has always had a love and passion for the field of aviation. He now shares that here with students and staff at the CBU Airport campus. Yeah, I'm here because of flying. Um, and flying, though, has always been um, my, my tent making. Paul did tent making. And, um, but God has blessed um, my flying tremendously. I'm very thankful for that. Um, served in the United States Air Force for over 25 years. Um, reason because I love to fly. And it's just something that every student has to have. When they come, I, I always ask that. You know, prospective student, because if there's not that spark there to fly, it's just, it's going to be a lot, it's a hard work. But if you love to fly, it's like any day of flying is better than any other. Um, so I love to fly, but then both of my parents were in World War II. Um, my dad was in the 8th and 9th Air Force in England and France um, in the Army Air Corps working on aircraft. And my mom was in China, Burma, and she was with the Flying Tigers um, down there as a nurse. And so they had put their lives on the line for the freedoms and liberties we have. And so for me personally, I had to do that. And so um, God graciously allowed me to do that. You know. With the aviation program having just started around seven years ago, it has gained tremendous popularity for the university and the Department of Aviation here at the CBU Airport campus continues to expand. Aviation program, when you bite off on that one, it's a big deal. Um, it's not your quintessential program. Um, your students are a mile up in the air going 100 miles an hour. They can't put their head down on the desk. When you're, when you're doing an aviation program, there's a lot of facets to it. Um, you have all the academics, and so you work with the Department of Education, making sure all your accreditation is done. But we have to work with the Department of Homeland Security to make sure that all the students are screened. Um, we work with the Department of Defense for VA, um, GI Bill benefits, and also with our students going in to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Um, we work with the Department of Transportation. Um, more commonly part of that is the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. And so for a program that's aviation, you kind of have two parts to it. You have the academics, and those have to work like every other section, but then you have to have certifications. And so the department is overseen quite a bit by federal regulations, um, Code of Federal Regulations, CFRs. We have to make sure that we're obeying every one of those. The other part is flying. If you are going to actually have a flight line, well, now you have to have flight instructors, you have to have aircraft, maintenance, and all of that. Um, and you have to have a safety management system, a safety program. So. You have to have this um, a safety culture uh, that's built in. It's built into the fabric. With the Department of Aviation being fairly new to CBU, it has been able to see its students graduate and become a part of the CBU Airport campus community. I recently graduated with my aviation flight degree and my dispatch minor. Um, I am now working here as a dispatch supervisor. I was a student worker. Um, student dispatcher so basically just I was doing this job and then I just got promoted so now I just have a couple more responsibilities with that just something about flying and you really like it's a such a small community here that you're just able to like really grow and develop relationships which I really loved because we have like we have a small group of professors and all of them just like really care and then all the students are just really close because we're constantly with them being able to like work here as a student worker and then just being able to like grow and develop and I don't know, just allowing my voice to be heard and then like having the department hear my voice, uh, it's really helped me with that. Carlos Medina is another recent graduate from the aviation program that now works here at the CBU Airport campus. I'm a flight instructor here at CBU. Uh, I spent about four years at CBU and throughout that time I was pretty much building those foundational skills I needed to be as an instructor. Um, and you know, there's so much you still need to learn throughout the process, um, but in preparing as a flight instructor, CBU really prepared me um, in teaching me the fundamentals and building that strong foundation that I'll carry out throughout the rest of my career. Even through the pandemic, the department continues to work under new regulations due to the COVID-19 restrictions, 
but it continues to achieve many milestones. Well, we clean the airplanes before the students go in. We clean them after the students go in. Um, the students, uh, they wear masks all the time. Okay, even they're walking around, they wear masks. They wear masks while they're pre-flying the aircraft. They wear masks when they get into the aircraft. The aviation department continues to grow and will welcome two new aircrafts to their fleet this upcoming fall. In addition, the program will participate in the National Intercollegiate Flying Association Regional this March and then Nationals in May. For CBU-TV, I am Ignacio Domingo.